Welcome to Big Finish, presented by Knob Creek, joined by Matt and Travis. Stanley Cup final, really exciting, unexpectedly and on a couple of different levels, but Tampa's up 2-1, heading into game four, staying in Chicago. So guys, what are you uh, most surprised by, most confident in? Let's, I guess, start with Tampa Bay. Where, where are you landing on the Lightning? Um, well, and we'll get to this later, Victor yeah. Hedman, the defenseman, was by far the best player yes. in Game 3. Um, yeah, I think he led the every player on the ice in ice time, mm -hmm. except for maybe Duncan Keith on the Blackhawks. Right. But, um, you know, he's been fantastic, and, and they're really getting some contributions from their from their defensemen offensively. Right. And, and they're getting depth scoring from guys like Cedric Paquette, yes. um, who scored the game-winning goal in Game 3. So. Mm -hmm. Um, that's that's a little surprising because we were talking, you know, heading into the Stanley Cup final that they weren't necessarily getting that that depth scoring, but right. it seems like they're starting to get it. Matt, concerns. I uh, Dan, I think we can all agree that the fate of the city of Tampa rests on three things. Okay. Uh, a stripper-based economy. Certainly. Real estate fraud. Yeah. And the banged up body of Ben Bishop. Yeah, at yeah. this point that seems to be he's, accurate. He's got He's not well. He's not well, but he was able to, to gut out gut game out. three. Game looked, three victory. Looked good enough, I suppose, yep. throwing himself in front of pucks slowly didn't and... Look, didn't look great. Didn't look fantastic. Um, he definitely was laboring, especially in the right. third period. But yeah, I mean, he got, got a little lucky. Uh, right. Blackhawks missed a couple of open nets and... Uh, and there, there's a case they made that Chicago played a very good game three, yeah. just was not able to capitalize on the opportunities yeah, they you know, themselves. Yeah, they just missed a couple wide open chances. Mm -hmm. um, they had a ton of chances in the third period. I yes. thought they, they dictated the, the game for quite a few stretches in the third period there, but they just weren't able to get some easy chances in the net. And, um, ben Bishop made some made some key saves at other times, so you know not not the best outcome, but right. the, the, the the process was there. Do you anticipate the the rest of the series going in a similar way, or is it a case of Chicago? There are just too many opportunities, and they're just too talented and too deep not to win two, three more games. Yeah, you know, it, it, you want to decide with Chicago's experience, but right. the series is just so close. I mean, right. even in the final dying seconds of the game last night, Patrick Kane was wide open in front of the net and had a mm -hmm. chance to score. So, um, you know, it's just a really tight series, and I'd be shocked if it doesn't go seven, at least six. So, you know, it's going to be tight, but you know, both ways uh, the rest of the series here. Fair enough. Let's get into the goals of the week. So we mentioned uh, Victor Hedman, the Lightning defenseman, uh, by far their best player uh, uh, in Game 3. And this Whoa. slap pass to Ryan Callahan, just absolutely Whoa. insane. It's like 120 <laughs> feet right there. <laughs> and it's just just absolutely absurd. He catches uh, Callahan onside, luckily, and then Callahan with a beautiful shot to, uh, to, to get it past Corey Crawford. And Terminator that, calibration. <laughs> that opened the scoring in Game 1. I mean, Blackhawks just, just defense. Admire this one more time. I mean. Oh my God! Kind of catches Chicago in a line change there, and then and then he just roofs it uh, glove side over. It's a uh, over perfect Corey slap shot. Yeah, bar down, glove hand over Corey Crawford, mm -hmm. and uh, just just barely snuck in there. That's sexy. All right, second goal. So then this is the uh, the game winning goal in the third period for the Lightning, and oh. here's Hedman again, just storming up the ice, and he uh, makes Brent Seabrook, a very good defenseman, <laughs> um, <laughs> on the Blackhawks look a little silly there, and then you know Kyle Comiskey got a little out of. Uh, out of sorts there in the defensive end as well, and um, you know he let Cedric Paquette uh, beat him in front of the net. So um, really, you know, just really showing what Victor Hedman has here um, offensively. He was a key piece for the Lightning in Game Three, and right. uh, this is exactly it right here. And, and again, it's it's uh, it's Callahan dishing him off the puck there, and then mm -hmm. he you know he has all the room in the world in the in the, in the uh, neutral zone, and and great positioning by Paquette as well. To yes, just slide right in and finish. Absolutely, you know Paquette's been a killer for the uh, Lightning in this in this final so far, and. Um, he's not a name that Blackhawks fans are coming to like. Blackhawks fans really probably thought that was the game. Third period, get that lead, great lineup. They had, they had it for 13 seconds. Is that a lot? That is not, not a lot. very no. many, no. All right, time to vote, fellas. We've got two Hedman-inspired assisted goals here. One to Callahan, the stretch pass, ridiculous, and one to Paquette to win the game. Let's go raise your glass for the stretch pass to oh, Callahan. Oh, it's unanimous! Yes, yes, it feels terrific. I feel, I mean, the pass is so brilliant and it's yeah. just like, it's a three second play that ends in a goal. No, yeah. from, you just don't see that. From rink to rink, it's ridiculous. Yeah, two touches and it went 200 feet. So there's your big yeah. finish of the week, brought to you by Knob Creek voted best bourbon 2015. Let us know in the comments which goal should win. Come on, I think we got it right. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next week.